collaboration with Greg's Kitchen and a lot of other YouTube channels for the month of March called Marching In with Casseroles. So today, the first one we're starting with is our creamy Cajun stuffed peppers. It does have a few steps to it, but I think it's all worth it. We're going to be making one to have for today and one to put for in the freezer because this does make quite a bit. So the first thing we have down in our bowl is one pound of hot pork sausage. If you don't like spice, there is a lot of ways to cut out the spice in this recipe. So one would be just using regular pork sausage, but we need it raw down in the bottom of our bowl. And I've gone ahead and prepped a lot of our ingredients. So I have a half a cup of dry rice cooking in my Ninja. So that'll come out to be about a cup of cooked rice. I'm gonna set our pork sausage to the side. We're gonna get several things going so that it all kind of comes together at once. I've chopped up one medium onion and two small carrots that I've grated. And we have three pounds of these mini sweet peppers that I've washed, cut the top off, and de-seeded. Got all this done ahead of time so things move much more smoothly. So we're going to set these to the side also. So now that we have those things prepped and going, we're going to get started on sauteing our vegetables. So I have about two tablespoons of butter melted down in the bottom of the pan. We're going to add in our carrots and onions, and we're going to saute these just to start softening them up. All of this will end up going in the oven. Now with your rice, I like to undercook mine by just a few minutes so that it doesn't get too overcooked once it moves to the oven because that's where everything will really be doing a lot of the work. So only cook it for about 10 to 12 minutes to get that process going. So while this sautés, we're going to work on our sauce in this back pan right here. So down in our pan, we're going to put about a quarter of a cup of sour cream, about four tablespoons of butter, a third of a cup of ketchup, and we're just going to be, we're just going to bring these three ingredients to a soft boil, and then we'll add in our other ingredients. All right, now that we have a soft boil on our sauce, we're going to add a cup and a half of water a teaspoon and a half of bouillon powder, chicken bouillon powder, or you can just do a cup and a half of chicken broth. About half to three quarters of a teaspoon of salt, about a quarter of a teaspoon of black pepper, and about a quarter of a cup of heavy whipping cream. So we're going to bring this back up to a boil and let it start thickening up. While this works its magic, we're going to add about two teaspoons or about two cloves of minced garlic. I see my container is almost empty, so we're just going to kind of shake some in. Looks about right. We're just going to let that get mixed with everything. We don't want to burn our garlic, so it's only going to take about a minute to really get warmed up and aromatic. To this, we're going to add about a teaspoon and a half of salt, one teaspoon of pepper, about a teaspoon of Cajun seasoning, and about a tablespoon of fresh dill. Now I've turned off the heat because I need to start cooling this down enough that we can handle it. So while our sauce continues to reduce and thicken, I've got it turned to about a medium heat. I've got my oven preheating to 400, and we're going to mix all of our other ingredients together so that we can make our filling. So we're back to our very important pork sausage. So down in our pork sausage, we're just going to add about three tablespoons of mayonnaise. And I know this sounds weird because it's over raw pork sausage. It is definitely going to cook in the oven and it will be okay. We're going to add in our onions, our seasonings, and carrots. And you could even put your seasonings down in this bowl with the pork sausage. I just like to make mine all in there. And I feel like it gets more evenly spread around. 
And last but not least is our rice. Now I'm using basmati rice today, but you can use whatever type of white rice you, you like. Get this all mixed around. And remember to undercook it just slightly. So about, well, I say slightly, a little more than slightly. Uh, by about 10 to 12 minutes is all you wanna go on that rice. Now, if you are a no-carb person, you could definitely substitute this white rice with some kali rice. Um, I'm not sure how the texture would change, but I'm sure you're pretty used to it if, you, um, if you're used to substituting out that carb. I'm gonna give our sauce a quick stir. I'm gonna wash my hands and then we're gonna get to stuffing. All right, and like we said before, we're gonna be making one to have for today, and I'm gonna be making another pan to set in the freezer for a later time. And I'll tell y'all, there is an extra step we have to do to be able to freeze this and um, make it come out right. So we're just gonna take our pepper and using one of my son's little yogurt spoons. It's the perfect size for these little things. And just make sure they get nice and full and lay them down in our pan. We're just gonna keep going and remember to stir your sauce ever so often so it doesn't burn and let it thicken away. You don't need it super thick, but you do need it reducing down and thickening up a little bit. Be careful you don't overstuff them or you'll bust out like this. Okay, we're going to move this to the side and start on our other pan, but we'll probably add a few more to this just to kind of make it evened out. So we ended up with two extra freezer pans instead of just one, which is a nice little treat. And now we're going to pour over our sauce, which should be fully reduced by now. So I'm just going to give this a good swirl. The only one we're pouring this over is the one we're making right now. Once our sauce has cooled off, then we will pour it over the one for the freezer. But we don't want it to, um, we don't want it poured over while it's hot. So I'm doing probably about three quarters of a cup of sauce over the one I'm going to cook. Now we're going to cover this and bake it in the oven at 400 for about 40 to 50 minutes. This will give that sausage a chance to cook and get those peppers nice and tender. And there we have it y'all. Our stuffed peppers are all done. You see how nice and bubbly it still is? All of our peppers are going to be super tender. Our meat's cooked through so we're going to let this set and I'll slice into one for y'all to see. Okay, y'all, now that these have had a chance to cool off, I'm gonna slice into it and show you just how it looks and that everything is fully cooked. And there we go, dinner is served. Bon appetit.